Ooh, what's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video I want to talk about the leaked information on the Taken King which has hit the internet over the past couple of days. Let's just get straight into it. The Taken King is DLC which is believed to be coming in September as a new expansion. I believe September the 15th but that and everything else leaked has not been confirmed by Bungie and we will have to wait until E3 to find out some actual facts. But this leak is all over the internet and it is a confirmed source. So the details could be indeed very, very true. Okay, so we're gonna start with the cost. They do state it's gonna cost $40, which I am completely happy to pay. I know a lot of people won't be, but I certainly am. And for this, they say you will be getting new subclasses, which to be honest, has been coming for a long time. And in my opinion, something that we all want and is needed. But before we talk more about these subclasses, let's look further into the league and what we will be getting for this $40. So the Taken King will have a raid, putting us guardians against Ovid. Oryx being the father of Crota, who was the boss of the Crota's end raid from the Dark Below DLC. So yeah, we will be going against Oryx, the father of Crota. But before all y'all say Oryx is going to be hive again, well apparently according to this leak, he will be leading an army of a new race called the Taken, which makes sense as the expansion is called the Taken King, aka the King of the Taken. Now the Taken to me, uh, sounds sort of like uh, a race or multiple races taken by Oryx and maybe manipulated, brainwashed, maybe their guardians and their lights have been sucked out of them and he's controlling them in some way, that sounds pretty badass, going up against guardians, going up against the fallen, Kabul, Hive, a mixture, that sounds pretty badass, I mean it's just an idea but it's one of the many ideas this leak has put into my head. Now although in my opinion my ideas do sound pretty good, there isn't much details of the actual Taken race as I can find out absolutely anywhere but I will keep you guys posted if I do find any. Now with this DLC we also get the usual new story missions, PvP maps and a strike. But let's go back to the subclasses which in my opinion is the main part of this leak. Now there are a few details on these new subclasses and what they state is what we all thought, even the biggest Destiny noob will have thought that each class being the Hunter, Titan and Warlock will have a third subclass at some time that revolves around the elemental damage they don't have right now. So for Hunters it will be Void, Titans it will be Solar and Warlocks it will be Arc. Now according to this leak, the Hunters new subclass will be called or be based around a Gravity Bolt. Now I have a million ideas going around my head about what this could actually be. For the Titan, it will be called or based around a flaming hammer, which sounds incredible. And for the Warlock, it will be based around or called Electrical Storm, which also sounds incredible. Like I said, these things here, this leak here, puts a million ideas into my head about these subclasses and other things. Unfortunately though, at this moment in time, this is all we know. Hopefully at E3, we will find out more juicy details into the Taken King DLC which I cannot wait for. You guys can be sure that I will keep you guys updated on absolutely everything on my YouTube channel right here. So subscribe to me if you're new to my channel and I will also keep you guys updated on Twitter. If you don't follow me, my Twitter is linked in the video description. It's at dpjsc 8 so be sure to follow me. But guys, that is all we know so far about the Taken King DLC. Like I said, hopefully they drop more information at E3 which I'm sure they will. Let me know your guys' opinion on this leak of the Taken King DLC. Thanks for stopping by as always, and peace out until next time. Peace!